It's early May 2025. I'm at the greenhouse in Springville, Utah. Had some good rain out here the last few days, which uh, we take all we can get. Thought I'd do a quick tour of the greenhouse. See, it's solar powered, got a weather station. Show you how things are doing. Have some fruit trees on the north side of the greenhouse. Lots of berries and grapes, everything's coming in nice. Full sun during the Utah growing season, so the north side is a great place to, to grow things on the outside. Shade cloth, still not on. Keep it off as much as possible. Get the vent wide open so we can get bees and other things inside. Here's the main box for the solar. It's nice and green in here. Had a really nice winter, comfortable. Fig tree, figs do great. Just ordered some new trees from Top Tropicals. A couple mangoes, a loquat, another avocado. Kind of add in where we find that they're working. We've got an orange variety here that's to the ceiling. No fruit on it yet this year. Some bananas. Grapefruit, brand new tree. Actually had a couple fruit on it last year. Avocado is finally doing really well. This is about, oh, maybe eight feet tall. Myers lemon. We have to work hard to get sunlight back here with this passion fruit vine that grows over the back. Lots of figs on this tree. Some beets and carrots and other things in here through the winter, they work great in here. See some carrots there. Pomegranate. Dragon fruit. This is a uh, another citrus tree that's gone to the uh, to the ceiling, so we start really trimming it and pruning it accordingly, but lots of fruit on this one. So you can see a lime tree back there. I think that's a tangelo. This is peanut butter tree. Let's see again more. I think this is a lemon tree right here. The citrus are doing really well. We had a lot of fruit on the citrus trees. This is an Australian finger lime. Just starting to finally see some fruit. These will usually fall off while this tree is still young, but it's getting up near the, the roof now. Guava. See a banana tree with a rack on it. I don't have anything in the uh, aquaponics right now. But it was an easy winter, and now we're in the spring. It's uh, with it becoming more mature and having more fruit, it just does better and better, manages itself and the temperature better. The tomato, we get volunteer plants and things all over the place in here, which is actually pretty cool. Lots of tomatoes just find their way in here. That's pretty much a quick tour. It's early May. As we get going into the summer, we'll eventually put the shade cloth up and uh, get the big fans turned on so that uh, as it gets warmer in here, it can push the hot air out and bring in some cooler air. And then of course we have the geothermal tubes that go from one end to the other. All in all, it's been going well in here. That's just a quick tour. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.